All right, video on how to uh, fix your chili bin cooler uh, if it's not going cold anymore. Uh, so, and also we're going to do a mod. So also chili bin mod if you want to do that. But people that just want to fix the cooler, maybe you've got a cooler that's running fine. There's nothing wrong with it. The old chili bin cooler is just not going as cold as it was. Well, the first part of the video is going to be for you. I mean, it's actually for everyone. The first part, but first part is just how to go about making it so it'll run cold again for you now for anyone else that's got an old one like this and it's uh well broken not working uh the switches don't work anymore nothing's working on it all the chili bin's been cracked get yourself another chili bin you're going to cut a hole in the lid but anyway we're going to do a mod uh so basically tools needed for the people that just need to make these go cold again and it's working fine otherwise or you're going to need some cpu cooler cooling cement and a couple of screwdrivers, that's all you need. So people that just want to make it go cold again like it was when you first bought it. Alright, people that want to do the mod, you're going to want to want the stuff on the left and the stuff on the right. The stuff on the right is optional, you don't have to have it. Okay, this here is an old fan, it runs off a 12 volt battery and I'm going to have a battery pack that's also two 12 volt batteries. Um, you know, just because you get more amps out of it. Normally you charge your phones off it, etc. So what I'm actually doing is converting this chili bin. This one's going to actually be able to run, I mean, even though they're 12 volt already, this one's actually going to be able to run off a USB or run off your USB, you know, your phone charger. Um, just, you, you know, you, you run, yeah, you charge a bank. So you can run it off that as well. So you should be able to get a few hours without it even being plugged, you know, just running off, um, your charger bank and or, or off your usb charger whichever way around you want to do it but anyway for people that just want a wee bit of a mod uh to make it go colder that's all you're going to need over there this is an old computer fan computer grill there's one out of a different computer so roughly something like that uh we, the reason we're going to do this as well we're going to save some power these here, as you know, they run about 6 amps power, so the power guzzles are alright in your car when you're travelling. You know, your car alternator is charging 40, 60 amps if it needs to. Uh, but the moment you park it up camping, 3 hours later your battery is going to be flat. Uh, well, depending on the size of your car battery, of course, but, um, you know, you get my point. The power guzzles, and if you live off grid and you just want a bit of extra cooling, you don't want to run a fridge. Um, of course, they're not very efficient for that either. So this is just a way to, uh, the mod's going to help try and get some extra cooling going on. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, first thing, tip it upside down. Pull out this rubber. Get your screwdriver. And go around and take out all the screws. Alright, so your cover's off. So the next thing you want to do, you get yourself a pair of scissors. Old scissors. Or use your wire snips or tin snips. Quickly cut all this wiring. And of course that's only if you're uh, doing the mod. If you've got one that's broken, not working. If you've got one that's working fine, don't cut that wiring. All you're wanting to do is redo the coolant. Alright, so basically how these things work. You've got it over here, you had that hole in the grill. And of course the air comes in here. And it gets pushed across that grill. Comes out the top here. And that grill gets colder and colder as time gets on. And it also has a... Uh, a cooling pad inside here that's what chews up with most of your power when these things run um, but we're going to change all that so it uses a bit less power but initially so it gets colder makes that cold and then up underneath all this so unscrew this screw here unscrew that one I'll take that one out unscrew that one and then pop this whole thing out fan comes out with it all right so you've taken that out basically just uplift this turn her over and then you've got uh, this part of your fan here. There's a little tiny, tiny wee circle clip. There's a tiny wee plastic clip just there. On the end, I've just taken this one off. Use a pair of pliers or something to pull it off. And then just hold one fan still. And then just spin and pull that until it comes off. Now, of course, you're only doing this if you're doing the mod. If you're just here to do the coolant to bring it right, you're not doing this part. But anyway, so you pull that fan out, unscrew that get the fan this is only if you're doing the mod we're getting rid of all this right 
It's back over here, so people just wanting the cooling. Of course, we've taken this plate off. This was up here inside that thing, as I said, oh, that way as I said brings in air from the top and then blew it over the things. Helps it get colder. Also, the cooling plate here. Notice here, it dries the bone. There's no cooling cement of any kind on here anymore. There used to be. And by the looks of it, it would have been quite a thick layer. See here, this has got a packer. And I'd say that that would have been pretty loaded inside there to try and keep this really cold. So you might want a little bit of a bigger container than that little one I've got there. And this is nearly empty, so... Um, anyway, so you want to cook... Oh yeah, no cooling post anyway. So as soon as you've done that, put more cooling paste on. Uh, you get a wee spatula thing, we plastic spatula comes with it. So coat all that. That one there, you'll just want to smear it over about a mil thick all the way around it. And then just put it down on there. And then the same on the top here, put it about a mil thick. But then we've got this part here, and put another mil thick on that side. And then just put it back together. Now, when you first put it back together, don't over tighten it. Just tighten it just so it's all come firm. And wait about, an hour, well, say 20 minutes. And then just give it a slight little tweak, but don't tighten it full hard down. Just do it so it's all nice and firm. Because uh, you don't want to squash all the goo out. That's designed to make it cold. So you want to keep it cold. And then just reverse the process. Of course, um, you know, put all your thing back, uh, back in. You wouldn't have pulled the fan apart. Your fan would still be in there. So you're just putting that plastic bit back in, then that piece inside the plastic bit, and then you lid back on, and you're away, you've got your cooling working again. Right, for people doing the mod, right, we also want to get the tin snips here, and the plastic casing here, that the fan and everything was in. Okay, we're going to cut that. You see the fan wasn't there. So you cut that right where the fan will be spinning. We're not going to be using this fan anymore. Chuck that away. Chuck that away. Um, you'll notice here, count the fins. I mean, what is there on here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18 pins or something, 16 or 18. And of course, we're going to be replacing that with something that's got, well, shit, uh, so it's probably got about 80, maybe even 100. So we're probably seeing one that's only got 16 air fins, maybe 18, with one that's got 80 or 100. So um, going to be a big difference in airflow. And if we're actually going to the extent where you're using the one where you've got one of these fan, old fans, of course, you're actually going to have uh, fan control. This is why we're doing this one. So pull this apart, get all this out. Right there, and inside there, and of course, here's your battery pack. We're going to cut all this out though, we're going to put it and mod it, put it inside that, inside the chili bin. Oh, and we can actually turn that off. Wasting power going nowhere. All right, um, so you get rid of the old fan, and of course, that there's speed control. So, when we actually connect this up to the chili bin, we're going to have control over the speed. <coughs> Which also means control over how much power you're using. But it's not going to matter if you're on battery. You know, as I say, you can use a charger, uh, you know, phone charger, battery pack thing. Right. So back to it. So what we're going to do here, we're actually going to repaste some of that up anyway. So get the paste, paste that up. And. An optional cooling, if you have got a cooling thing like this, to see if there is a spot that you can fit this as a thing that will be able to, uh, I don't know if you put that with the other one on top. Yeah, it's not going to work. Not enough room. What about actually using it down below? No. Yeah, no, it's not going to work, is it? Right, so, as I say, that's optional. You don't have to use that. It would have been good to get an extra cooling. An extra bit of cooling again would have made it even extra colder. Uh, there may be a way around that yet. 
So we'll just keep the other side. We might use it on something else. Yeah, shit. All right. So, as I say, get some paste into that. Alright, so you get that one in, the smaller one. It's going to go from, call that grill, which is going to push it out the end of the bottom under here. We're going to cut all that actually soon too. But anyway, and then here, of course, it sucks in the air from here and then blows it through into there. Alright, so now what we're doing, of course, and the reason we cut this casing in half, what we're actually going to be doing here, we'll put this cooling grill back on. And then of course this plastic cover, oh actually sorry, that plastic cover has to go on first, what are we doing? Right, and here is where we're going to be going things a bit different. Of course, put some paste on the bottom of here, clean that up first, put some paste on there. And of course, we're modifying this one, but we're changing it in a way. As I said before, I showed you how it actually works, how it goes in. Just makes that cold, and then the one under there was fully sealed. Um... Of course, sealed by this, so there's no air actually getting under there. It just made the other one colder, and that just recirculates the air that's in the chili bin. This one here, we're still going to do that in the long run. Two different mods we're doing to recirculate the chili bin. That's the last final mod we're doing, optional. Uh, but just for this mod here to get things cold, of course, we cut that. The reason why we're going to turn that upside down here. All right. So then what you want to do is glue that in place, get some hot glue, after you've wired up, you need some, you know, make sure you've got the, out of those wires there, you want to use the red and the black, red ones you're positive, black ones you're negative, those other ones there, cut them flush. The other thing is when you're wiring it up, use thin wire the same as that wire, don't use thicker wire. If you use thicker wire, you're going to end up putting more amps through it, if you put more amps through it, you'll probably burn the motor out, or you'll burn your wiring out. Same here with the small wiring, same, just make sure you've got small wiring so that way it's still only a small amperage going through to it, alright. So anyway, so what you want to do, screw these down into the plastic here, so this is ended up going to be mounted, and it's going to be holding that cooling plate uh, to that other plate, alright. And then you can just put a little bit of hot glue along there, and a little bit of hot glue around on the other side there. Just to hold that plastic casing down as well because it also this is going to be screwed into the plastic casing so we need the casing to be tight as well then after that's done bring your other one across and say so you're turning it upside down and you want to do them like that okay and then glue it in place and this wee hole here just block that hole off Right, so I'll just get this glued and we'll go to the next process. I'm right, just going to do a quick test of the um, motor just to make sure it's going. And on my voltage uh, adjuster, so that way it's a uh, little amp adjuster. Get different speeds. Now, see, so me it does pay to check your motors again. Now, if you're not using another fan, as I said, that's optional, you don't have to do that. Uh, we will pay to put a switch in and of course you'll be wired to 12 volt um, but because these here are only using like 0.6 of an amp uh, you want to make sure that you've got a like a 1.5 volt fuse or a I mean 1.5 amp fuse or a 2 amp fuse 12 volt um, but 2 amp uh, max don't go higher than 2 amp and that's for the both of them connect together because they're both going to go at the same time but let's just do a quick test with this old fan thing and see if it's going to work Right, sweet. Just up there. Nice one. So that fan's working all good. Oh, you can get it really nice.
but of course we're going to have two going on there so it will just run off batteries and uh, off a USB those the plans for this chili bin now now initially even though it's going to be running off USB that's just for your fans and your cooling plates uh, but if you actually want the cooling plate, the powered one um, that there you're going to have to make sure it's definitely widened to 12 volt uh, you don't want to put on those batteries, you might them go flat real quick. Uh, 